The first step to setting up a social stream on your website is to insert a new section for it. When you do so, under Type, scroll down until you find Components Social Stream. Next, you can click Create Section. For this demonstration, we'll set up a stream from Facebook. We'll add the ID for the Facebook page and then create a Facebook Access Token. Now it's very important to note that you have to have ownership of the Facebook page for which you want to create the social stream, otherwise you won't be able to set up an access token. The first step is to sign up with Facebook for a developer's account, and then you can create a new app. The name of the app can be anything that you'd like, but you'll probably want to choose something that you'll remember is associated with your social stream. For this demonstration, we're just going to call it Social Stream Demo. Now that we've created the app, we'll go to the Tools menu and we'll select Graph API Explorer. Next, we'll switch to our Social Stream Demo from the Application menu and click on Get Token, choosing Get User Access Token. We'll select Pages, Show List, and Manage Pages, and click Get Access Token. Next, just click Continue. Select the page that you want to stream from, and click Next. Finally, click Done. No need to submit for login review. And click OK. Now that we've created our access token, we'll click on the info icon and go to open an access token tool. The access token is short lived. It expires in an hour and we need to fix that by clicking extend access token. Then we'll go to debug and we'll copy the access token at the top. Back in the Site Manager, we'll go to the link for the Facebook Graphic API Explorer. Paste our access token at the top. Change the field to say slash me slash accounts and click Submit. Next, we'll copy the access token and go once more to the info icon next to the access token at the top and click Open in Access Token Tool. We should now see that our token does not expire, but our data access will expire in about three months, so we'll have to come back to extend the token once more. Now we'll copy our access token again, go back into the Site Manager, and paste the Facebook access token in the field. When we click Save Changes, we should see our Facebook social stream. And that's it.